Okay, this video is going to review how to measure central angles to be able to make a pie graph accurately. Um, so what we need is we need a perfect circle, which you will have on your worksheet, only your circle will be much smaller because it's going to be on a sheet of paper instead of a smart board. And then you obviously need a pencil and you need a protractor. And we're going to assume that we've already collected our data, we already have our fractional amounts, and we've already transferred those fractional amounts into the degree measures that we're going to need. So basically all we're going to do right here is to show you how to use the protractor to make the correct section drawings for your pie graph. Um, now, using the protractor, keep in mind this center point down here is what you're going to use to, to line everything up from the center of your circle, and you're going to use this um, to match up with the radius on your circle. And here's how this works. The first thing that you would do, starting from the center of the circle, is you need one radius drawn so that you can have your baseline to start measuring from. So on a sheet of paper, I would take my protractor and I would connect that center point to the edge of the circle, just draw a straight line out to start with one radius. Since this circle is so large, I'm just going to use the, the board here to do that. So I'm going to start from the center circle here the center point, and then I'm going to draw a line that's straight out to the edge of my circle. That gives me a starting line to use to measure from. So from there, I would take my protractor, and I would take the center point right inside there, and I would put it on the center of my circle, and then I would line up the baseline, or the zero line on my protractor, along that line. So on the smart board, it would look like this. Okay, so I have the center mark lined up, and then I have this bottom line right here it says zero. Not actually the bottom of the protractor down here, but it's the first line up it says zero. So that's going to be my zero line. So if I'm going to build a, an angle out of this, then I just need to know what angle do I need to build. So let's say I have some data that says um, that I need 40 degrees worth of information. So I've got 40 degrees, and I need to measure a 40 degree angle. So if I read from the bottom line, 0, I'm looking at the inside scale, because it's counting up, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. The 40 degree mark is what I want. So this line right, right here represents 40 degrees, so I'm going to follow it out to the end of my protractor. And I'm going to make a little dot right there where that 40 degrees would go. Um, now... I'm going to remove my protractor, and once I just connect these two dots with the straight line, I'll have my first sector. So I would use, if I were using paper, I would use this dot and this dot with my protractor, connect the dots. But since this is too large, again, I'm going to use the um, smart board tools, and I'm going to connect those two dots. Okay, so there is my sector my 40 degree sector, this right here would represent 40 degrees, and then I would be able to color in that section and label it whatever that section was. And then when I'm ready to go on to do the next section, I'm going to use my new line that I've just drawn as my baseline. So now this time when I go to measure, I'm going to take my protractor and I'm going to line it up on that line. I'm going to put that center where that hole is and I'm going to use this as my zero line. So I would line that all up. It would be my zero line. I would look for the degrees, mark that, and then I just keep going. Every time I have a new line or the new end of my next section drawn, I turn my protractor and set it to zero, and I work from there. And then I keep going around until I have filled up all the information on the graph, and it should take up exactly the entire circle if I've drawn my pie graph correctly.